ओके व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर नेटवर्किंग क्लासेस सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग एंड डी मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट रिलायबल डेटा ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल सो व्हाट आर रिलायबल डेटा ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल्स दो प्रोटोकॉल्स विच प्रोवाइड रिलायबिलिटी टू अ ट्रांसमिशन वॉट रिलायबिलिटी मीन्स इज दैट अ गारंटी इज गिवेन टू द डेटा that it will be given uh, received by the receiver in proper order integrable and uh, some more secure features if it is done so the uh, transmission is said to be reliable so these are ensured by rdt protocols so in frequent uh, further slides uh, we will be talking about some rdt techniques so as of now so what are the problems of rdt is that it is not only uh, lies in transport layer but also lies on the link layer and other uh, layers also okay so it it can also happen in network layer unreliability so unreliability is not a transport layer specific thing unreliability can also happen on network layer so what bit error means that if the bit is changed at the time of transmission just like 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 we can say that bit errors happen okay and are delivered so and so this is error condition and also we have to deliver the things in order so it is the property of reliability if everything is delivered in order so to implement this service rdt protocol is used and the task may get difficult if the layer below rdt is unreliable so this line means that if unreliability and uh, unreliability is added more unreliability is formed just like if network layer is unreliable and transport layer is also unreliable so these two unreliability leads to greater unreliability so to implement uh, the reliability like tcp is implemented on top of ip which is network layer protocol so as we know that ip is unreliable so to give reliability to this network we we are using tcp which which is reliable okay so as we can see that rdt 1.0 it is a, a basic rdt technique which is used in the initial phase of reliability giving protocols so what rdt1 is doing here that uh, only one functionality which is uh, giving the data in form of packets is done so by packets i meant to say that if the uh, layer means which uh, on which reliability has to be given Uh, if it is getting some data from the above layer so it is waiting only waiting for the data from the above layer when it gets the data it will directly send the data to the receiver and again waits for the further data to come okay and on the receiving side it is waiting for for the data or packet which is coming from the sender side and will take the data from the below layer and extracts the data if all is correct so it will extract the data and deliver the data to the upper layer so in rdt 2.0 some things are some new things are added which are not there in rdt 1.0 which is these three things so these are the capabilities which are added in rdt 2.0 so what are these error detection receiver feedback and retransmission now as we can see that in sending side of rdt 2.0 let me zoom in yes so at that sending side the waiting is done for the above, from the above layer for the data when it gets the data it will directly send the data to the receiver in the form of packet this making packet and sending packet is done when the receiver uh, when it is 
sending the data to the receiver it will wait for the feedback from the receiver whether it is getting the data in right order or not if the receiver gives the negative message so retransmission has to be done if it is getting the data in right order and sends means by it i mean receiver so if receiver is giving a positive acknowledgement means the transmission is done correctly so now it will all again wait for the further data and will send the packet in right order now on the receiving side it is a basic implementation of rdt 1.0 and one new thing is added that bit errors are checked if the corruption is done it will send the NAC. if corruption is not there it will send the ACK. only this much functionality is given in rdt 1.0 Okay, so these th three things are implemented where, so this is retransmission, this is wait for acknowledgement or NAC is the feedback mechanism and this corruption or not corruption bit is error correction method, error detection method. Okay, so these th three things are covered. Now what are the possibilities in ACKs and NACs? So first thing is if uh, the uh, acknowledgement is corrupted acknowledgement or NAC given by the receiver is corrupted so what sender will say what did you say if this is uh, uh, repeat, repeatedly happening in the transmission a chain will happen which will uh, means uh, which will throttle the bandwidth of the transmission medium so it should not be done second possibility is a kind of solution that to add checksum bits to allow sender not only to detect but also to recover from a bit errors so this functionality we will be discussing in further rdt's for for now third possibility is important because it is introducing a different concept called duplicate packets so it is up to sender to resend that current data packet it receives a garbled ax or nax so if it is uh, receiving garbled ax or nax it is totally the responsibility of sender that if it it is wanting to to send the data again or not so if it is sending the data again and the previous data is also uh, being sent right then it uh, there can be a possibility of duplicity okay so duplicate packets this approach introduces duplicate packets into sender to receiver channel the difficulty with duplicate packets is that receiver don't know whether to ACK or NAC it last sent was received correctly by the sender so hence insertion of sequence numbers so this is a part of rdt 2.1 which we will discuss in next video till then thank you